Peter Magubani is one of the photographers who captured events of the students' protests in June 1976. Despite being arrested and enduring police torture, Magubani says it was a conscious decision to use his camera to fight and expose the evils of apartheid. I don't want anyone to stand in front of me when I take pictures. I become like a lion. A passion that began after his father bought him a camera when he was a schoolboy. Born in 1932 in Fredador, Johannesburg, Peter Makubani will become an international struggle icon. Growing up in Sofia town, he would use his camera as a voice to oppose the apartheid government, capturing the everyday experiences and struggles of his black South Africans. In the process, Makubani's lenses recorded some of the country's historical moments, including the pivotal Rivonachal and the Shabvo massacre. Following the horror of the 1960 massacre, liberation movements were banned and many activists and political leaders were arrested or forced into exile. When people were leaving South Africa to go to other countries like Zambia, other parts of uh, Africa, I said, no, I will remain here. I will fight apartheid with my camera. I know the pictures will go all over the world and the world will see how, uh, how South Africa operates. Makubane would work for numerous magazines and newspapers, among them the iconic drum magazine, the Rand Daily Mail and the Times. Among Mugabane's most iconic images were those of Winnie Mandela, whom he would later become friends with. In 1969, he was arrested while photographing protesters outside the prison where she and other political activists were being imprisoned. He was held in solitary confinement for 586 days for practicing his craft. Following his release, Makubane covered the student uprising of June 1976, producing a sequence of pictures that brought him international recognition and acclaim, notwithstanding the continued police harassment. Even though at one point in Tembisa they shot me 17 times with buck shots, but I survived that. The school children that were there quickly took me to the hospital where I spent 20 days. That was the toughest time I've ever been through. Mandela. Following Nelson Mandela's release in 1990, Makubane will be selected to become his official photographer, a responsibility he held until the 1994 historical democratic elections. On the birth of South Africa's democracy, Makubane stopped covering news, instead focused on in his exhibiting and publishing books on his pictures done over a long career as one of South Africa's leading photojournalists. In recognition of his contribution, Makubane received a number of honorary doctorates as well as winning several awards abroad and here at home. The most notable being a national order in 2017, the highest honor South Africa can bestow an individual. I feel good, I say to myself, at least someone has recognized me. Someone is saying, you have been doing all, you have done a good job all these years. A praise for her father.